Can I make this the cheapest guitar on Amazon sound any good? Wow, wow, wow! Guitar video! Okay, if you've been keeping up with my videos for a while, you might know that I bought this in a guitar pack that cost £55. And, well, if you forgot how bad it was, then here's a great example. Yeah. That was literally the best I can make this guitar sound. However, in the comments of the video where I unboxed this guitar, we had a shining light descend upon us. We had a saviour with a really cool suggestion. For people who've been watching this channel for even longer, you might know Dan from some really old videos that I made years and years ago. Dan suggested that to make this guitar sound any good, I might be able to replace the strings with really slinky strings, 8 gauge strings to be exact, like these ones, and along with those strings I might be able to tune this guitar an entire octave up, and once I've done that, maybe it could sound good. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go because I thought it was a great experiment. So without further ado, all I've got to do is replace the strings and see what I can do. I'll try and keep you updated as and when anything interesting happens. Right, we're done. I'm in different clothes and everything like that because it's been a long time since I actually did restring this and uh, test it out. But I've got some good news and also a bit of bad news to do with it too. I'm gonna start with the bad news. I didn't manage to catch it on camera, but when I was tuning the what would be the D string, it, uh, it snapped. So I had to go into my pile of spare strings and find one that was similar. It was a 22 gauge string, but I didn't have any of those. The closest ones were 26 and 17. So I actually went for the 26 gauge. So it's kind of thick, I guess. I've not really noticed a difference, honestly. Because that snapped, it turns out I couldn't tune the guitar up up a full octave but what I did do is tune it into C sharp tuning so that would be the C sharp above the E that it normally is if you don't understand that do some googling and research I I know professor or anything basically it's tuned up higher that's that's kind of like all you need to know this kind of did work if you listen to the intonation which as I explained in the last video that I did on this guitar means that the open string should be the same note as the 12th fret and it's pretty great on all the strings now. It's not completely perfect, but it's pretty close, which means it sounds all right now. There's still a couple problems in that the action is very, very high still, which means you have to press down really hard to play. It's not that nice to play still, but those are things that can be fixed too, so I'm actually very hopeful that this guitar could be good. But what's the point in me just telling you this? Let me plug it in and uh, let you hear how it sounds.
There you go, that's the difference in how it sounds from that terribly intonated mess it was before. Putting slinky strings on and tuning it up made a massive difference. There's still huge problems in that it's really hard to play with this really high action. I'm, I really like a low, low action, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Also, it's not like 100% there. If I could get some more slinky strings and tune it up even further, that would probably be even better. This is a set of eight gauge strings. If I could get a seven gauge or even a six gauge potentially and tune it up to D or maybe an octave, I think that would help even more, especially if the action was lowered. But that's it for this experiment that we've been doing with this tiny, interesting guitar. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did like this video, check out any more of the videos I've done with this guitar and the amp, tiny amp that came with it. Subscribe, like, all of that. I'll see you next time. Bye.